Jesus' parable of the foolish, wealthy man is a study in misplaced priorities. The man neglected God and spent his life greedily accumulating treasures for himself on earth. Then he died with no opportunity to enjoy his goods. But worse than that, he died with a bankrupt soul. Serving the Lord is the key to setting goals that will benefit us eternally. The question we ought to ask is not what shall I do, but rather what does God want me to do? The answer which should be prayfully sought and biblically evaluated dictates which things we must put first to please the Lord. Life isn't something that simply happens to us. Where we are today is largely determined by the priorities we set previously. This means we can also begin the process of reevaluating them according to biblical guidelines and changing those that are misplaced. What do you prioritize in life? There's nothing wrong with having earthly plans and goals, but we should also store up treasure in heaven, which can never be lost. Our top priority should be to live a life that honors the Lord. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, hey guys, what's up? My name is Nyquia. I talk all things business, Christianity, and lifestyle. And today is a Christianity video because we're talking about my morning routine with God. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to show you guys all the tools that I use that I incorporate within my Bible study and how I kind of spend time with God in the morning. Now every morning looks a little bit different. Today I'm in my bedroom. Usually I'm in my office. Sometimes I'm in my living room. It just honestly depends. But I do recommend picking a space in your apartment or your house that you can dedicate that is your Bible study spending time with God place. So the first thing I do when I wake up is one I say thank you God for waking me up this morning and I may say like a little prayer after that because uh, you know I can't wake up without him so I have to give him thanks. After that, I usually do my skincare and I brush my teeth and all that stuff. I'm not going to show you guys that stuff today, but that stuff's already done. My hair still looks a little crazy because I didn't do my hair routine yet because I wanted to film this video. And so the first thing I do after that is, one, I make my hot lemon water and then I also make my coffee, which you guys see me make my coffee in that little montage earlier in this video. Then the next thing I do before starting my Bible study, I actually love watching like a 5 to 10 minute kind of devotional a visual devotional and here is the channel that i like to watch it on do you know what i found i found that life is full of surprises in fact my walk with god has been full of surprises i made plans i wrote down my goals and dreams i expected everything to go right i expected things to go my way but the thing is we can make plans, we can write down our goals and our targets, however, here's what the Bible says, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. The YouTube channel is actually called Grace for Purpose, I believe it's called. And every day they upload a new visual devotional and at the end of the devotional they usually say a prayer and I just find it very helpful to get me started into my day when it comes to my morning routine with God. So I highly recommend you check that channel out, subscribe if you love those type of videos, but I highly recommend that channel. Now let me show you all the tools that I use within my Bible study. So of course you need your Bible, right? So I use an ESV study Bible. I love the study Bible just because the footnotes at the bottom just give me more clarification on what I'm reading and more footnotes of you know the content the context of everything that's going on about what I'm reading so I really love the ESV study Bible the next thing that I like to do is grab my devotional for the day so these are free devotionals by in touch ministries which is the ministry run by dr. Charles Stanley 
and I get mailed these out at the end of the month to get me ready for the next month and they're free so all you have to do is visit intouch.org uh, forward slash daily I'll leave the link in the description as well as I'll leave the link here on the screen you just sign up give your address your name and they send you out free devotionals I collect all of these like I have so much of these. I like to use these for my podcast notes. So sometimes I'll read something in them. And I know it's a great lesson to apply God into your business and use the uh, Bible as a business book and help you with your business strategy. And so I love to keep it for those. And then I also just like to read whatever day it is. I like to go and read more days of the past years because they're always different. They never recycle their devotionals. And I just find it as a great biblical tool to really start before I actually head and to the bibles that's the next tool i use is my daily devotional then i also make sure i have a notebook now this notebook i actually sell myself i actually made it in my amazon kdp and it's available in my amazon storefront and i'll leave the link down below um, each of my journals have a verse from proverbs on it and then it has some artistic work in the back and i'll show a close-up of these but this one said blessed is the one for who finds wisdom and then it has the rest of the scripture underneath and that's proverbs 3 13. i have a ton more in different colors so if you guys are interested i will leave the link down to each individual uh journal down below and they're only 6.99 each and then i also have journals for christian couples as well if you guys are interested so like daily love notebooks for Christian couples that have just activities and stuff that you can do every single day to strengthen your relationship within a Christian relationship and those are $12.99 each. The next thing I use in my Bible study is you got to make sure you have some pens and highlighters so I have to make sure I have a good pen and I make sure I have some good highlighters. The next thing I like to have is a Bible study so um, this helps me know okay if I don't have a particular verse or chapter that I want to study for that day I usually get it from just my Bible study. So this Bible study is from Alabaster and Co. And I love this Bible study. First of all, it's very artistic. I love the way it looks. So yeah, I love this Bible study. And I use this to basically help me start off on where I'm going to study at in the Bible if I already don't have a plan. So if you don't already have a plan on where to start in the Bible, first of all, I always recommend that you start in the very beginning because I feel like you're not, it's like starting in the middle of a book, you know, you're going to be missing out on some of the main key parts that, you know, built up to that, that part. And you may not understand what comes after because you didn't know the beginning. So I always recommend starting from the beginning. There's so many different reading plans that you can do. And what I love about the devotionals from In Touch Ministry is that there's reading plans, Bible end of the uh, one year uh, reading plans at the very bottom. So in each reading plan actually correlates with scripture you might be reading for that day. Or sometimes they'll give you a little Bible study uh, topic up here that's relevant to this passage and you can study it like that way too. So that's how I've been studying the Bible. Or if I really feel called or if I really, you know, want God to talk to me for a specific subject, um, I just go straight to the passage that I know that's in. The last thing that I use is this by the Daily Grace Co. It's called their Dwell study guide and basically this just helps me remember longer passages so it's just an activity book that helps you remember longer passages in the bible and um, i'm also trying to recall shorter passages as well just passages in general i want to be able to recall them during prayer i want to be able to recall them if one of my friends and they need some help and i can just bring up something or um give them a verse to go study and meditate on that has to do with the situation and so I always wanted just to be able to recall scripture and I can I can recall every Drake song there is but I can't recall scripture so that's a problem so um so yeah I want to be able to recall scripture at the times I should be recalling scripture and one of my goals this year is every week I am learning or memorizing a scripture and how to apply it to my life and so by the end of this year I will have 52 verses memorized and to be able to recall when the time is right. So I love that for me. So that is the end of my morning routine with God. I know this was a quick video, but that's honestly what I do. And I pick up an hour a day in the morning. I am an early riser. I usually get up around 4.30, 5 o'clock, 8 a.m. After my skincare and my hair and routine and all that stuff is done, I usually start my morning routine with God around 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. So that way the sunlight is starting to shine through, through my apartment. I'll go ahead and make my cup of coffee. I'll go ahead and watch my visual devotional, Grace for Prayers. And I'll go ahead and start my physical devotional. Then I go ahead and read my Bible, whatever I'm studying for that day. I make sure I have my notes 
I make sure I have my journal with me so that I'm making notes of anything that sticks out to me that I may want to talk about in a future podcast episode or just as personal to me in general. Then I go ahead and study the scripture that I'm trying to remember for that week and I also read my Bible study and that's it. So if you love this morning routine with God, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!